So every now and again, you've got to pack up and head out bush. So this week was that week. So this is a bit of a video of the week, what I got up to and what we saw. Okay, so we're just heading off to do a trip into the um, Midwest, up around, probably go and have a look at Mount Augustus, uh, Kennedy National Park, um, through the middle there. Um, there's some um, area in there that's got pretty well, not a lot there, but uh, between sort of west of Murchison, west of Gascoigne Junction. So we're going to go and have a look around there and uh, see what there is or isn't. So we'll catch you out there. Okay, so we just had some lunch at the... Let's turn that off at this little roadhouse that you can see there. Beautiful burger, that'll be the last of that sort of food. We're just gonna head up over this hill because there's a um, an old mine battery that might be worth having a look at. So we'll go down and have a look at some of this old stuff. Oh, I've been out. I've been working. I came back to um, make sure my garden's right. This only goes six minutes. While you're watching that, I'll go and open the battery. <laughs> Under there is your copper plate. And if you didn't cover it up immediately, even if you were crushing next day, you still had to cover it straight away when you finished cleaning up because your copper plate would oxidise and go green. And now, they if they die immediately, but... Okay, heading out. Oh, Payne's fine. Met a really interesting older lady here. I don't know how old she'd be, but well past retirement age, and she's riding motorbikes and doing her own thing on stations. Yeah, as I said to her, they don't make them like her anymore really interesting to talk to so she gave us a little bit of a video and a little bit of a 
rundown on um, her little museum there. So um, yeah, quite interesting. So we're just heading back to the highway. We're going to throw a left um, and get to Mount Magnet, fill up with fuel, and then head off road. So I'll catch you along the way. So we made it to Mount Magnet. This is the point where we fill up with fuel, head west, looking at some sites and finding a camp spot for the night. Jimmy's running the back of my car. If you want to pull up up here somewhere and I'll get out for you. Yeah, I'll pull up up here with you. Yeah, I'll pull up. Okay, so now we're looking for Farmer Road, which should go off to the right, which should take us to the west and to that meteorite crater to start with. So we should come across that somewhere up here. Um, don't think it's that one. <coughs> so we just saw, I just saw this lot of caves in the in the bush here, and there's a track in there. So I'm just going to wait for the other guy. And we're going to go and have a look. Let's get up on top of this rock. Somewhere. Got it. So this is the Dalganangra, I think that's how you pronounce it, crater, it's just up here. It's actually really good. When I was last here, this was pretty well a track from what I remember. Um, but they've made it into like a road, they've graded it, so you could get in here with, with any vehicle. Um, the track wasn't too bad before, but it was a little bit a little bit more like a track, not a graded road. So they've just been here, but look at it's dead smooth. Makes it easy. Um, so yeah, we'll go in here, we'll have a look. See what if it's changed from when I was here last time, which wasn't I think it was probably a year ago. The crater should not be far in front of us here. Um, where is it? Looking at the GPS, it should be just up here. If I remember, there was an offshoot to it somewhere. <coughs> This is West Australia's smallest crater at around 25 metres across and 3 to 4 metres deep. It was discovered in 1921 by a guy mustering on a horse when he nearly galloped into it flat out. Looks like some people have been doing, been having some camping here, a few fires. I don't think there's too much of the meteorite left if any
uh, we're coming into a station, Austin Down Station. So we're just going to um, we're just going to cross the grid. I'm just waiting for the other guys to make sure they know where to go on this crossroad. So we're just going to chuck a right into this station. So we'll walk along here and have a look in this house. What's in the house, Jase? Oh shit, the ceilings fell in in here. Lots of asbestos. Wonderful. And sink. And the ceilings fell in. A couple of big tanks. So here's the well for the water. And it goes a long way down there. It's got a windmill on it. The heads fell off. I'm trying to work out what this is. It's got channels and foundations. Oh, well, there's another channel looking thing. And then in here, there's big foundations. And over here. Wonder what was in here? Pumps or generators or something like that. Okay, so this is an old house. Part of this station. We're going to have a look inside. Looks a bit more modern. Possibly. She's pretty dilapidated. Not much left. And this is the old shearing shed, a bit rickety, but we'll go and have a look. Just gotta be careful here, because this is all a bit rickety. So in here was the old motor shed, and that went up here to the flat belt and to the single drive shearing head setup. And then would have been on this board shearing and would have grabbed the sheep from in these yards. All this wood on this side's all pretty good nick. And then a rouseabout would have grabbed the wool, sorted it on this table, and thrown it into these bins. And then down here a presser would have pressed it up into bales. So I've come across this channel, which is interesting because it looks like it channels water. That's strange, I've never seen it before. It must feed it from this flattened area into these pipes that are poking through this channel and then into the channel and then down to the tank. It's walking in the channel. You can see the pipes on the left that feed it. So we reckon that this big area here used to run water up against this first wall of the channel through the pipes into the channel and then fall down to this end where they pumped it into the big tanks that we saw previously. Must have been how they did it. 
Okay, very interesting little spot that. There's a that channel, and we're trying to work out whether that was to catch water because there's a pipe on the other side as well, or whether that was some sort of irrigation thing where the they pumped the water out the middle and it flowed down to that channel and then they recycled it because obviously water would have been hard to get and whether that was for food or something but who knows but yeah a lot of work went into that channel for for whatever reason so very interesting it's things you see when you're out in the middle of nowhere So we're going to look at the Aboriginal rock art. And this is the famous ship. Just gonna, we're just going to drive around the uh, Walga Rock. So it might be a bit of wind noise, but we climbed up Walga Rock to have a look. Not even at the top, probably about halfway up. So this is the big bell. <coughs> Just heading in here to have a look and see what we can find. Have a look at the big hotel. So we're going to go into Big Bell Hotel, have a look. Fireplace, looks like the cellar.
And a second story. We'll just walk through some of these rooms. There's a truck coming down the road. <coughs> Another fireplace. So that's a little bit of a tour inside Big Bell, the, the hotel. It's the same as the Como Hotel in Perth, same design I am told. So let's go and have a look at the rest of the town site. So here we are, trying to keep out of the wind. Here we are at Mekathara, just filling up with fuel and grabbing a bite to eat, a snack. And we'll head off to the west. So over onto the right, um, should be able to see that out of the camera in the front of the car, is Mount Gould, I think it's called, G-O-U-L-D. Looks like there's a big mine up there too, you can see a whole, a whole bunch of tailings. Um, there should be this prison thing around here somewhere. And that's where we're going to stop and have some lunch. <coughs> uh, for a little while, have a look around and then um, continue on to Mount Augustus. So this is the old Mount Gould police station and prison. Just walking over here to these, looks like grave sites, we'll see what they are. Oh, someone died here, Phil Connors, 1913. So that was the Mount Gould lockup and um, police station. So now we're heading off to Mount Augustus and that is a little way away so um, I'm going to be around about uh, I'll stand it up <coughs> a few hundred k's, 150 k's or something so. so here we are at the Gascoigne River 
a little bridge thing. So you can see there there's a cable that goes, it's on the ground now. That's what they used to, in floods, what they used to get the mail across to the other side in a little drum. And I'd just wheel it across to the people waiting on the other side. It's been there a while because it's actually grown into the tree. So that was the Gascoigne River and one of the crossings. So that's the first time I've um, um, been to um, cross that river there. So Okay, so we're going to come up to something up here. I'm not too sure what it is. It says there's a phone box there, I think, or phone or something. And then there's a ruin just off to the side on the left, and then Mount Augustus. So we'll catch you there. So we just stopped, saw this ruin on the side of the road, called in. It's like just an old house. I oh, know that's the toilet. Had an, had an old thatch roof. Laundry. That's the laundry in here. That's where you had a tub. Look at that. It's even luxury. It has a place to put your shampoo. So there should be a turn off to Mount James down here. And there's an old ruin there, I think. So we're going to see if we can find that turn off. It should be up here to the left. Yeah, I went past it and just had to cut through the corner, so you'll see me on the inside. <coughs> so we're just heading down this little station track that is, um, might have been originally part of the main road or it may even be an access road or something. It's um, yeah, pretty easy going like a station track style road and there's supposed to be some ruins up here somewhere um, the Mount James ruins not sure what's here so we're gonna find out and get some video and photos I reckon this is like a 60s, late 60s sort of 70s, isn't it? It's not that old. It's got those yeah. things in it. Yeah. Looks like a pizza oven just there. Asbestos everywhere. What would have been the trough? There's the hot water system, similar to that other one at the start of the station with the 44 gallon drum in it. And the fire underneath. That other station had one exactly the same. That was a little ruin, Mount James. So now we're just going to head off back to the highway. Follow this back out. <coughs>
watching out for wire and nails and anything else that's up here. Okay, so we set up, <coughs> that's where we're going to camp, and so we're just going to go as the sun goes down and um, and uh, have a look at the rock. Okay, so this is the loop drive, and as you can see there is Mount Augustus on the left, and we're going to go around the back of it. Yeah, I think. 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 Yeah